Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to perform SQL operation using IntelliBot Studio. Let's go ahead, create a new RPA project. Let's name it SQL. Proceed to the main activity. Under general in the toolbox, we'll have a component called SQL. Drag and drop this component onto the design surface. So the first parameter here is connection provider. Double click on this parameter to open the properties. We have all options available here starting from MS SQL, Oracle, MySQL, OLEDB and ODBC. So select your database. So I'll be using MS SQL here. Click on OK. The next parameter is the connection string. So here there'll be a default format. Here we can update the data source, the database name, user ID and password. We can also pass this data through a connection string. So all we have to do for that is remove this data from here and click outside. So a new data input port will appear here and through this we can pass the data. But for now we will just pass the data here directly with the username and password and every other detail. I have updated the data source, initial catalog, the user ID and the password here. Next to write the SQL query we can click on the component and go to the configure button here. We'll have a new editor window open up where we can write our SQL script. So let's write a script for creating a table. Create table users. This will comprise of an ID of type int and a name of type varchar. Click on OK. So let's have a look at the database that I'm going to use here. Here is the database, the demo DB database. Let's refresh this and see if there are any tables available as of now. There are no tables. So let's go ahead and execute our query to create a new table. As we can see, it has executed successfully. Nothing was returned after the execution of this query, but we can go ahead to the database and refresh the tables. We can see here the users table has been created successfully with the ID and name column here. So we can write all types of queries here, create, update, delete, select. So if we write some select query, it will return us the data in the output ports here. So that's how easy it is to write SQL queries using IntelliBot Studio. Thank you. IntelliBot. Excellence made simple.